Yum, pizza hot pizza. Supreme, delicious. Mm. It's the best. Well, we're gonna go out to the garage here in a little bit and tinker around with the bowlings. Stay tuned. Okay, Let's turn up the heat a smidgen. Just warm it up in here a little bit. Ooh, that's nice and loud. I had an idea. Let's try and save the frame for now. Okay, so <clears throat> you see how the bolts are right here, and the edge is right here. Well, the reason for this oil pan ugh, being the way it is is because this came out. Hold on a second. It came out of an Onan auxiliary power system, which is a Kubota engine, which kind of puzzles me because Onan made their own engines. Why don't they just use an Onan engine? I don't know. But anyway. The re that's why the oil pan is so big, because this thing would run for hours on end. But you'd have to change oil a lot more often if there's less oil. So that's why they put the giant oil pan on it. So you won't have to change it as often. And this oil pan, if I can... Oh, somebody dinked my freaking tape measure. I think it was me. I think I stepped on it. Oh, uh, 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 I fixed it. Anyway, that's... See, we can't pull her out here some. Ugh. There we go. Anyway, measuring the oil pan is about a foot and one quarter inches wide. So, I measured from the center of the bolt head on one of the, on one side down here. Oops, not so hard now. Don't want to split the crank or something. I measured from the center of one bolt hole there to the center of the other bolt hole directly across from it, and it's six inches. So, what I'm gonna do, what I'm asking you guys to do, ugh, is to try and find a slim oil pan for Kubota model Z482-E, and it's in the family CKB479UBD, 2RA. I believe this is 1995 and it's got over 3,000 hours on it. Still runs strong now. Stupid thing just won't die. Kubota's last forever. Oh my goodness gracious. That needs replaced. There's the fan. Uh, hiya, dog. Are you my little buddy? Are you my buddy? The alternator mount's here. That's not good. Well, there's not play in it. I don't know. As long as it pumps water, it's good. But, uh, I think that's where an oil filter could have been placed other than down there. But, uh, so, if you guys can find an oil pan for this, it'd be great. Like, tell me where you can find one for a decent price, and I'll do some looking around. Might actually have to make one, because I really don't want to cut the frame up and compromise it. Compromise the structure, like screw at the front end and have to shorten this piece, because we have to widen the frame and then have the steering be all screwy. So I just don't want to dink around with the whole front. So let me let me think of something here to do. Well, I don't really get anything done at this point. So I guess I'll continue this video tomorrow, but uh it's 837. And I have things to do elsewhere. And tomorrow. I'll look to see if I can't find an oil pan for this. I have to go do other things, so I'll continue this video tomorrow. All right, guys, check, check in later. Okay, boys and girls, 
Well, the heater's warming up, lights are on, and we're back out here working on the bonds. And I just took the, the, what the heck are they called? Allen head bolts, or studs out, whatever. I cannot for the life of me remember what they're called, but I took them out of the dry, the shaft here, and we're gonna pop it off this gearbox here. Anyway, this seal right there leaks. So we gotta find another seal. Ooh, yeah, I think you can kind of see it's a little blown out. But uh, if you look here, you can see if the camera will focus, it's a peerless 3488P91, peerless 0036-1867. Whatever those numbers mean. But I know it's a peerless gearbox. Ooh, nice and tight too. I'm assuming that the transmission is a peerless because I've heard peerless is. Jeez, ah! Uh, peerlesses look like that, but I'm not sure. So, I guess here next week I'm going to load it up on the car trailer, take it to the car wash, and pressure wash this. But I'm going to see if I can't get this off to, uh, to try and pop the seal out. Let's get her over here. Crap, by the way, these are all the tools I used to work on the Jeep. But uh, let's see if we can't pop that off. Sweet. Okay, I also took the bolts out for here, so I've had this off before to look inside and I cleaned it out a little. Uh, oh, don't screw the gasket up. We can reuse this. Careful. Oh, look at that. Perfect. We'll reuse that. That was like packed with grease in there before, but I cleaned her out. Ooh, look at the bearings. Ooh. Heavy duty, bud. Oh, that's awesome. Heater finally kicked on. There's a fan. So this thing is just awesome in there. Here, I'll turn the light on here. I mean, the gears look in decent shape. I mean, look, most of the play is right there on the inside. See? So they're decent, they're decent. Ball bearings, I'm sure there's ball bearings under that gear and in there. But, uh, you can see where the bolts came through this, and now I can't seem to get this off, which is gonna be a pain in the butt. But, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna see if I can't pop it off here. Stay tuned, guys. Well, I can't get it, but I did finally find the right punch to knock the roll pin out for the uh, steering wheel. So let's get that done, cool. So, after much banging, I'm gonna screw up the steering wheel a little. I'll probably replace it anyway. Look how shitty it looks. It's finally moving. So, let's keep at her until she pops out enough. I'll grab a holder, bear with some vice grips, and we'll get her out. Sweet. Okay, so uh, I tried a bunch of stupid things. I totally screwed the steering wheel, as you can see. Like, I put a socket on here and put a clamp around it and tried pressing it out with this bolt. And then I took it off and it slapped me in the face. Hit the bolt with a hammer, you dumbass. So that's working. We're almost out. Awesome. Okay. Stupid thing. There we go. Screw you, look at that, even right in the bucket. We're not using you again. Jeez, I hate roll pins. Not using one of those again. Putting a bolt right to this next time. All right, now I gotta see if I can get this stupid thing off and it's not gonna be easy. I might have to drill a hole in there and do, I don't know, figure out a way to get a steering wheel puller on it somehow. Like drill a hole through here, 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 and uh, push 
maybe drill a hole down there until I get to the shaft or something. I don't know. We'll have to see. Stay tuned. Well, that stupid thing ain't coming off. You know, I got the roll pin out. Try to drill in the hole, and the gear pull I have won't work because it's a piece of chip. And I drilled a hole there and stuck a bolt in it. I tried pulling up on the wheel and bashing on the bolt with the punch and didn't get anywhere. So for now, just gonna let it go. But there's a little piece in there that holds the steering wheel up high enough, and I got pushed down. So listen. Now the steering gear sit funny. But I need a flavor from you guys. Hold on a second. Okay, so this is the seat pan for the Bolins. And now you can see the serial number. It is 0100327. -0 now I need to find out what year this is. It's a model Actually, it's upside down, but you can see it says 1468. There's the serial again. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm not. What the heck? Yeah, it's 0100327. So I gotta look that up. Because I'm weird. Come on, you piece of junk. I guess that's it for that. Hey, turning off the light gave me four extra minutes of battery. How about that? But, uh, I'm thinking about going to the junkyard and finding a vehicle with a cool steering wheel and trying to pop it off and put it on this, if that's possible. Ooh, I gotta fix that play in the axle. But I'm still looking for an oil pan for this. Give you guys the model number earlier in this video, but I'll give it to you again. It's if it'll focus Z482-E. And it's family CKB479U6DR or D2RA. And it's a 479cc engine. 1995. Or it might be a 2006 model, but I'm not. Er, wow, 1996 model. Actually, this engine is 10 years older than that one because that one was certified for 2005. The California emissions regulations. This one's certified for 1995. That's cool. Well, I'm going to let you go, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the little video dinking around here. Although I really didn't do anything in this video besides dink around. Next video, uh, we're going to take her to the car wash and uh, blast the pup out of her. Get the, all the crap off. And uh, see what happens. But uh, until then, thanks for watching. Catch you guys later.